Deb with Tom Cooking is for the Birds. I have got a quick, easy, scrumptious, and inexpensive meal for you. I have shared this before in the past, but I have new viewers since then, and I'm going to share it again because this is one of our go-to meals. This is super easy. You'll need a large skillet. Go ahead and put a couple of tablespoons of olive oil in that skillet. Turn your stovetop eye or your burner onto about a medium setting, and then you will need a 13 ounce package of smoked sausage. You can use turkey or beef. I'm using turkey due to my alpha-gal syndrome. I am allergic to beef and pork. We will cut this kielbasa into about one inch pieces, and then we're gonna brown it on each side. Then you will need two cans of red beans. I only had one can. So you just use what you've got, and I will improvise here shortly. I'll show you what I did because I didn't have two cans of red beans, but we're gonna mix that in. And then I had some leftover rice, and I've got about three cups of rice. I purposely made for a recipe the night before, I made extra rice so that I could make this recipe. And just to make this easier for you, if you like to use instant rice, you can use that in this recipe, or you can use prepackaged rice that's already cooked. But I personally prefer the brown rice because it still has the hole on it. It has extra fiber in it. And anytime we can get extra fiber in our diet, I'm gonna incorporate it. Okay, then once you've added your rice, you will need to let this simmer. But I wanted to show you what I used to replace that can of red beans that I didn't have. I used a can of chili beans. I did drain as much of the liquid off of them as I could. And you know what happened? I got in a hurry to make this recipe and didn't realize that I didn't have two cans of red beans. I'm sure this happens to other people too. But hey, this recipe, it worked out. So um, once you've got this on simmer, we're just gonna give it a good mix and add our final ingredient. We are going to add some hot sauce to this. Now, how much you add, that's totally up to you. But here's a tip when making this, add your hot sauce, Add as little as you want to, mix it up, and taste it. That's what I do. I just keep adding it and tasting it till I get it to the desired taste that I want. You can also add bell peppers to this if you wanted to, but this is how I always make it. And about 15 minutes later, voila, this is ready to be served. And I like to serve this one with some fried cornbread. It is so good, y'all.